It's my pleasure to, rep to uh, introduce Representative Karen Alzate, who is the House sponsor of this bill. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Senator. It's tough to uh, act to follow because she said a lot of the same things that I would have said. However, the time is now for the top 1% Rhodes to pay their fair share. We've been in the fight for so long, and the only thing we have succeeded at is cutting essential services to our communities. When we hear the infamous words, where will we get the money for that? We found the money. <laughs> the revenue from passing this legislation is $144.5 million. $144.5 million that can be used to better our schools, provide the essential services our communities need, and build our roads as it's pothole season right now. The same essential services we so desperately needed during the height of the pandemic and the ones we still use today to get us to a better place and out of the pandemic. We hear that if this bill is passed and signed into law that the wealthiest Rhode Islanders will leave. We know that is not true. Let me tell you what is true. I am tired. My community is tired of being the ones to hold our economy by a string. Due to the security tar car tax, I'm sorry, the tax cuts and the Trump federal cuts, my community, my family, my friends, and my constituents can no longer pay higher tax than the wealthiest 1% of Rhode Islanders. The pandemic has taught us many lessons that I hope that we can take with us to come out of this pandemic as better people. It is an obligation that our wealthiest Rhode Islanders pay their fair share of taxes. Our most vulnerable communities can no longer continue to pay a higher tax. We can't afford our rent, our mortgages, our gas, our groceries any longer. Never mind enjoying the beauty that our state and this world has to offer. It is time that we pass this legislation so that we here in Rhode Island have a fair tax system. Thank you.